Hey Limpan fans! Did you know that June is named after the Roman goddess of love and marriage Juno? And this is the 70th episode of Le Quo, the competition where I ask the question and the first person to answer correctly gets a point. And whoever has the most points in a year wins a prize. But before we get to the thesis question, we're going to bravely answer our three questions from last time. So we're going to answer each, each question and then I'm going to score all three of them just because I don't want to take too long. The first question was a word with two meanings and the first word was another word for a sailor and the second word was something produced by males. K, she, Christopher Law, Dion the Burb and Sean all said semen. Lily Bobby Ariat says mate. And the correct answer is... Seaman! And the first person to comment was KC! Congratulations to you, you're the winner of the first question. And the second question was a sentence with missing words, and you had to figure out what each missing word was, then use each first letter to spell the answer. So the sentence was, Jim had a very important blank, and wanted to get blank blank, so he blanked hard at a place with a lot of books. K. She says, Jim had a very important test and wanted to get uber grades, so he studied hard at a place with, with a lot of books. So K. She's word is tugs. Sean says, Jim had a very important exam and wanted to get good grades, so he studied hard at a place with a lot of books. So his answer is eggs, and the correct answer is eggs. So congratulations to Sean, you're the winner of question two. However, Keishi gets half a point because his answer was technically an alternate one. So good job to you too. Time to get to our third question. And our third question was a body part with two names and those names are both palindromes. Lily Bobby Airy says I. Keishi, Dion the Burp and Lily Bobby Ariat all said boob and tit. Sean says Rhea. And the quick answer is boob and tit. And the first person to comment and our winner is Keishi. Congratulations to you. You're the winner for our third question. The bonus question was, what's the hidden joke with all these questions? Keishi says they're all sexual answers. Dion the Burb says they're all sexual answers in episode 69. And Sean says to all something you can eat for breakfast. And the correct answer is that they're all sexual questions in episode 69. Dion the Burb gets half a point for that. Good job to you. That gives Dion the Burb 1.5 points in my greatest of all time leaderboard. Which puts him in 16th place. And that gives him 0.5 points in my winner of the year leaderboard. Which puts him in 11th place. And that gives Sean 1.8. Which puts him in 15th place. And that puts him in 4th place in my winner of the year leaderboard. And that gives KC 7.5 in my greatest of all time leaderboard. Which puts him in 2nd place. And that gives him 6.5 points in my winner of the year leaderboard. He has been burrowing his way up the leaderboard. And now he is my Watty. What a bandicoot. Time to get to Thesis question, and the question is which key on a computer keyboard shares its name with something that describes the period of time you work for? And our bonus question for this week is you have to make up a sentence with both meanings, and I'll give 0.5 to anyone that can make up a sentence with both meanings. However, make sure you don't copy someone else, because otherwise your comment won't count. Now it's time for some thinking music. Pause the video if you need more time. Leave your answers in the comments below and I'll announce the winner in the next episode of Le Quo.